film your own first porno in case you ever become like big or like you want to sell it. So I was like, for admit- posterity, uh, you see. <laughs> <laughs> so Don't get I- spunk yeah. in your eye. <laughs> film your first porno and hide it under a big X. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Content warning. Ladies and gentlemen, the following podcast is not suitable for all audiences, and viewer slash listener discretion is advised. For example, if when you just heard the term ladies and gentlemen, you immediately thought about how exclusionary it is, then it's probably best you turn this off now. Welcome to Dead Men Talking. Joining me today instead of Rob Mulholland is co-host for the show, comedian Phil Chapman. Hello. Woo! Hey. hey! And I'm here with big fat cunt Freddie Quinn. Because oh. <laughs> you listen to this already, you already know to do that, don't I you? I promised Rob. Did you? Yeah, he texted me from Australia and was like, make sure you call him a fat cunt. From right across the world? Yeah, yeah. What a fucking prick. <laughs> what a prick. I hate him. I fucking hate him. Uh, and joining us is porn star and OnlyFans model and... Uh, amazing human being. I, I don't know why. Like, what else can I say? I, that's it. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. Well, I thought just putting porn star, and then I was like, well, no one wants. Maybe she doesn't just wants to be known as a porn star. And so I put OnlyFans on, yeah. and then I was like, you've got to think of something else. Yeah, and then yeah. I put amazing human being, like those three were separate, <laughs> and then I just fucking panicked at Sienna oh, like, Day. I like we've not just spoke for five minutes. You don't knock me evil. Thank you. I'm having to be looking at one of these cameras, by the way. I'm like, uh, if you look at that one there, the one that's pointing straight at you. Yeah. yeah. That's... It makes sense. How are you? You've, you've come all the way from Newcastle. How have you? Yeah. And I was here um, this area the other week as well, or the day summer. Getting used to this drive now. Oh, yeah. It's M60... a nice one, isn't it? Well, the M62's a pain in the ass, isn't it? It depends what you get stuck behind. This is not the conversation I thought we'd have. <laughs> yeah. I didn't think that we'd <laughs> open. <laughs> Coming up next, weather. <laughs> Do you know what? When we had, um, when we had Rebecca Goodwin on... Um, uh, Barry Dodds, who listens to this podcast all the time, he bumped into Rebecca. Really? And he panicked and he didn't know what to say and he ended up leading with, I'm a big fan of your work. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Where did he bump into her at? About uh, uh, the uh, Have a Word a Arena portion. show. Oh, okay. Well, at least it was like supermarket or something. <laughs> that would be weird, wouldn't it? What's the weirdest thing a fan has ever said to you? Just sort of... Oh, and what, just in person yeah, or yeah, like yeah. thing. Do you bump I... into them in the wild? Yes, unfortunately, quite a lot. I wanted one in Ibiza, and obviously, you can imagine the, the fettle I was in. He's like, Shall we get a selfie? And I was like, Oh my God. Oh, that shit. That photo's haunting me to this day, as it is. <laughs> Just gurning off your tears. Yeah. <laughs> in the middle of space Ibiza at the time. <laughs> then I would stay with them and have a drink and, you know, a little mini session with them. They're probably thinking, She's weird as fuck. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Follow. Okay, sweet. I, 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 I don't know what to do. When, do you ever get it when people recognise you from comedy? Yeah, occasionally. I, I never know what to do, me. I always think it's really weird. I, yeah, I'm all just like, thanks. Yeah, yeah. I, I, yeah. I, I don't know what else to say. I always feel more awkward. Yeah. Than, than what, what will they say to you, though? Just like, oh, yeah. Oh. Uh, sometimes it depends how they know me. So sometimes if they know me from this, I will just get, and I have had this before, in public, whilst out, someone just shouting big fat cunts at me. <laughs> which is like. That wasn't a fan. <laughs> <laughs> that was a lollipop lady. <laughs> just a van driving past. Happened <laughs> <laughs> before he started standing. <laughs> Drive by fat phobia. That's no to, be, to be fair, I'm only known from this podcast. I'm only known by very few people. But when they do know me, they only know me as not gay Tom, which is very weird when I'm with my girlfriend and people just shouting, not gay Tom. Like, yeah. It makes me sound really is homophobic. It, have you got a gay Tom? Uh, we, no, we did have a gay Dave, our producer, who lasted one episode and then left. Oh, well. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, nice. yeah. Uh, and we also, um, we also, because uh, he was going to sit there, we made up loads of Westboro Baptist Church signs to put around him to make him feel, you know, like the... Yeah. <laughs> and uh, yeah, he lasted one episode. Well, Retrospectively, I... we should have eased him in a bit more. Yeah. <laughs> How come only lasted one episode? What? How come only lasted one episode? What do you do then? Do you just have to be like, right, unfortunately, he's left us now. Uh, we said he died. Well, it makes sense. Yeah. He's dead. Yeah. He is, he's yeah. dead to you. Yeah, he's dead, he's dead to me. What yeah. of? <laughs> <laughs> Don't say it. We <laughs> just watched It's a Sin, that's all. Um, so, yeah, sometimes people shout, who the fuck is that guy at me, which is like a have a word thing. Yeah. And then sometimes I get recognised because I used to do a football show called Stretford Paddock, right. uh, which is like a Man United thing. 
uh, where I was deeply unpopular. <laughs> so you? Stopped. Yeah, who'd have no thought? Um, so, and then sometimes it's just from comedy, but uh, usually you can tell by the, basically you can tell by the level of abuse that I get. Which by the is, level of disdain they approach you with. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I know. Do, Why people ask, do people ask for autographs still these days? Or is that like a 1990s nope. thing? Selfies, Autographs have oh, gone, selfies. it's selfies. Yeah. Oh my God, selfies. I'm so behind with the Stick on. It's, it's not even like a proper, they don't even put it on the Instagram feed, they just put it on the story and then okay. you're done. Yeah. I'll have this for a whole day. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 25 30 days if I look in the archive <laughs> <laughs> it is weird getting selfies with celebrities I think like if you see like Katie Price in Starbucks you think I'll get a picture it's not really like a memory it's just I love Katie Price as your first celebrity you thought who there well, well I, just thought, I, was... I, just thought, I bet she gets a lot of selfies but... I thought that as well when he was like Katie Price and Starbucks it was like an improv <laughs> yeah <laughs> Katie Price in a coffee shop. <laughs> exactly. Well, People, well, if, if you, you saw, saw Katie Price in a coffee shop, I bet she'd get like 10 selfies. But it's not like an achievement for the person that they saw him. It's just like they were just in the same place. If, if you saw Katie Price in a coffee shop, would you ask for a selfie? No, I wouldn't. That's what I'm saying. It's weird <laughs> that people do it. I don't think anyone would nowadays. I think they would. Yeah, yeah. yeah I think they would. Mate, I think I getting did. that Instagram filter out. Come on, take a little kick. Oh, the one with cute written all over yeah. your face. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, oh, mate, I get that all the time after gigs. People doing the, the makeup one. You know the makeup <laughs> filter? Really? So it looks I, I like did I've it to got Danny Dean. He had eyelashes on. I was like, fuck it, it's going on. Yeah. <laughs> I, I've not met Danny D yet. I really want to. Uh, but I have seen his cock on several occasions and it terrifies me. I, I reckon the last 30 times we've spoke, you've mentioned Danny D's cock. I'm obsessed with it. It's <laughs> He's got fucking... quite a friendly cock for such a loud cock. <laughs> it's very inviting. Friendly. What do you mean a friendly Like Casper the Friendly Ghost. <laughs> yeah, it's just like... A really nice. A really I call nice my dick cook. Slimer. <laughs> oh God! I don't think I want to know why. <laughs> um, uh, what, what makes a what makes a friendly cock? Winks well, at you. <laughs> it's not very, even though it's so large. It's it's nice to work with. It's not like you know an aggressor. Oh really? Is yeah, that, it's, it's quite nice to get into because it's so big. It's got a lot of different texture to it oh, from, really? from the tip to the shaft. Well, it's got different, what, like like a third of it's like ribbed? Well, some guys you'll go with, they'll have like proper demon dicks. Like, you know when they're so hard, they're like bricks. But yeah, yeah, yeah. has got like a nice tone to it. Oh, really? Yeah. See, I oh, have heard the opposite from uh, previous, um, <laughs> guests. Uh, p- previous guests who've said that the the hardness of it is the best bit. Like, the, like they'd rather have a smaller, harder dick than a bigger, more floppy text. I'm not sure if they've had 12-inch cocks in them. They might think differently. Well, <laughs> oh, I think she has. Oh, I think she has. <laughs> she? This is basically Freddie bringing up Rebecca Quinn. This reminds me of like when you get in a new relationship and you keep bringing up your ex. <laughs> <laughs> you know what it is? I, I think if it's too hard, I like something with a bit of like, his is a solid cock, but it's yeah. just not like... You can still move it, like you can ram it down your throat and in your arsehole. It's not so hard. <laughs> I've had guys where you can't do anything because it's too hard. You're like, get down, you cunt. Really? Yeah. Or what you have to go 69 to get them down your mouth because there's no flexibility. What do you do in that situation then? If you're working with a dick that's just like a, a fucking piece of wood, like a doorstop of a cock, <laughs> you're like... You've just got to do what you can with it. Just really? ram it in. Maybe beat it a little bit so it softens. Slap it a bit. <laughs> Slap one of the walls. Jab him in the ribs. Little uppercut or something like that. Do you we've got a lot of videos like that. Do you reckon that's what's happening there? <laughs> the people are really into getting kicked in the balls because the dicks are too hard. Yeah. <laughs> how, how long have you been doing porn for now? It's my 10-year anniversary in September. <gasps> what are you doing for it? What are you I don't doing? know. Did you get a testimonial? <laughs> 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 Paul Scholes is going to fuck. Yeah, yeah, a lot of celebrities. <laughs> Paul yeah, Scholes is going to be sucking your toes. <laughs> it sounds, I'm open to ideas, so maybe not that one. Oh, mate, so, so 10 years in porn. You have to do like a 10-year, like, you know, like a proper anniversary. I know, yeah. but I'm thinking, what? I've done a lot now. A decade? A decade. Like a decade. Oh, yeah. Well, that like live aid. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Were you getting fucked to raise money for Africa? <laughs> <laughs> Bob Geldof pumping up your fanny. Give us your fucking money. Um, okay. All right. Okay. What could you do for your tenure? Maybe you could like recreate some of your most popular stuff. What's been your most popular stuff? Oh God, they're always so seedy and horrible. It's always like. Everyone loves Bend Over. Everyone loves Fake Taxi. I'm, I'm not even sure Bend Over's alive. So I, <laughs> I can't yeah. be so, recreating that. So I watched a bit of the Fake Taxi. For research purposes. Uh, purely for research <laughs> yeah. purposes. Very much watched a bit. I, yeah. <laughs> About four seconds worth, I'd imagine. Yeah. I, I, I just before they turned the meter on. 
Um, no, I don't. I make it a point of never masturbating over any guests, Phil. Um, <laughs> um, uh, no, I, so I watched a bit because I'm obsessed with Fake Taxi. And I'm Do you like John? I'm obsessed. Well, I tell you what, obsessed I'm obsessed with John. No, no, no. I tell you what, I'm obsessed with. I'm obsessed with the sexy reasons that they have to come up with yeah, yeah, to yeah. get the text. So it's like I'm just doing zumba with my lesbian friends. Do you know what I mean? It's never like I'm off to do the big shop at Farm Foods. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you know what, what I mean? What was your excuse for? I, I think I was going to the airport because I had a big suitcase with me. Uh, so I'm like, fuck it, we'll just bring it in. But I've done like seven of them, so I don't want what the excuses were. I'd have to have a little. Little look. Seven is it fake taxis? Seven fake taxis. And you still don't pay your fare. Yeah. I know, but I never learn. <laughs> <laughs> it, it doesn't always work in taxis. I've tried it a few times. They kick you out. You can pay on your card now, you know. <laughs> yeah. Smash my phone up. That's broke as well. You've not heard of Uber? <laughs> no. Uh, Uber fucks. D- is there only one fake taxi? Or is there loads? Um, no, I did it with a couple of taxi drivers. So there used to be the main guy, John Bishop. Right. Um, no. Is that his name? <laughs> Welcome <laughs> to my taxi. <laughs> <laughs> Today I'm picking up Sienna Day, who's not got the correct fare. I think that could be the 10-year special. Oh, I mean, yes. got it. Actual John Bishop, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> And then this female fake taxi. And there was then, a female fake taxi. Yeah, Rebecca Moore. She was a driver, and I think Eva Austin might have been. Really? Yeah, Rebecca's a mind. Um, female fake taxi is really popular because obviously she's a she's yeah a horny predator. <laughs> oh, I don't know. I, so I don't know the names of porn stars. Yeah, I just big titted milf. Oh, really? <laughs> Oh, no, uh, yeah. Doesn't yeah, narrow yeah. it down, does it? <laughs> yeah, she's been, she's been in loads. <laughs> so Sophie Cock Destroyer. Sophie Cock Destroyer. Her friend, That's, that's nominative determinism, isn't it? I think I remember it? that What's, name. Well, <laughs> and the Cock Destroyer's not been on it yet. No, the Cock Destroyer's... <laughs> wait, is that a, th- a real thing, this Cock Destroyer? Wait, it was. The, they're dead now, like Gear Dave. Really? Yeah. Oh, they left like the industry? Like dead to you, or...? They just left each other. They left each yeah. other? God, that must be a difficult breakup, mustn't it? No, I'm not sure. Did you, <laughs> is there people that get turned on by someone saying they're a cock destroyer? Because that's the last thing I want to happen. I think it was yeah. bigger than the gay industry. Really? Mm. Well, I like, I actually, I disagree with you. I like the cock destroyer. I think it depends what sort of sex you're into. Yeah. I like it. I like, <laughs> I like, I like my penis being intact at the end of it, though. Oh, no, I like, I like, <laughs> I, I, I like to do damage to everything around. I'm a, I'm, I'm a human wrecking ball. Of a no, no, but it sounds, like, like, it sounds like your cock's being destroyed, like is what I'm saying. to be damaged. No, I, 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 I want there to be a trail of destruction. For the Slimer. Yeah. <laughs> slimer destroys. Exactly. That's why, that's why they call me the Slimer, baby. <laughs> <laughs> I want to have sex and it to look like a hurricane has just been in the, just smashing <laughs> everywhere. Do you know? I don't like. I don't like. You know, tentative. You know, sort of vanilla. Like, no yeah. one likes oh, no. that. It's twenty twenty three. Yeah, absolutely. Exactly. I just don't want my penis to be destroyed at the end of it. I want it to be to be able to go again. But how do you know if you've done a good job? Because everyone's happy. <laughs> <laughs> no That's one's crying. I've not been arrested. <laughs> <laughs> I can just imagine you lying in bed after sex at that moment and just you going, is everyone happy? <laughs> can I get your water, towel? Yeah. <laughs> Tell you what, my cock Breath is... Mint. My, my cock's very happy. Yeah, yeah. There we go, he's Hang happy. In- inspecting it for yeah. damage. Still like intact. Like you do with a, when you rent a car. <laughs> walk, around the, walk around the cock at the start to make sure there's no scratches. Yeah. Banjo still attached. So you'd been doing porn 10 years. What made you get into it? Do you know what? I think there was a couple of reasons, really. I was at uni. Do you know what? I was studying at uni, religious studies and philosophy. Fuck it oh. Leeds Trinity. Oh, yes. I went to Leeds Trinity. <laughs> oh, yes. I went to Leeds Trinity. <laughs> did you? Yeah, it's only a little, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. What year did you go? Uh, oh. I started in 2007. Hold on. And I left in 2010. Do you know what year I was there? It might have been 2012 I was there. Hold on, uh, hold on yeah. now. How old are you? I can't do this math. <laughs> well, that How makes sense if it's your 10 year anniversary. Me? So you're 31? Yes. Okay. What a cunt about to say that. Okay, okay. So you would have gone to uni. I'm try- I'm, I can't. I think 2012. Myself. I started okay. porn in yeah. 2013, so it must have been the year before. Okay. Didn't like buying the cheap bread and the cheap beverages and stuff. So what made you do religious studies? I just always really liked it, you know. What, like God? 
<laughs> love God. God. Who doesn't yeah. love it? It was God. like religion and philosophy, but the, the class was a little bit weird. I'm not going to lie. Okay. But one of the lads I went there with, who I did theology with, he's one of my biggest fans now. He retweets everything. Oh, really? Hey, Gary. Mm. I, did, uh, <laughs> I did. I did. I'm sure you. Were. I did philosophy at A level, and then I went to take it at university as well. And I thought it was going to be like, right, okay, really getting into the stuff. I was really into. This is so boring, but I was really into. Like, uh, in, so I took English language, but I was really into like uh, Wittgenstein and like language in practice and stuff like that. And I was like, right, okay, I'm gonna take it at university. It's gonna be dead good. But I went to like a dog shit uni. Where'd you go? I went to the University of Central Lancashire. Oh god, so, that, that doesn't so even sound appealing. It's not. What appealing. a waste of UCAS yeah. points. It is not. A, you, you don't need UCAS points. <laughs> I got I, I got in with nectar points. <laughs> that's, that's how shit that place is. I went to Leeds Trinity. I thought I was going to Leeds Uni, so like the proper one. So I turned up on the first day at Leeds Uni, and I couldn't find my halls. And it turned out I'd gone to the wrong one. There's wow. three unis, isn't there? There's Leeds Uni, Leeds Trinity, and What's Leeds Met. It's Matt. Yeah, yeah. At least Trinity is like the proper shit one. Well, yeah. that's literally yeah, why you're right. And it's proper Catholic and it's tiny. It's, yeah. And it's in the weather to Emmerdale. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because <laughs> nobody who goes to the uni of Leeds mistakes their own uni for a different uni. No, no, no. Yeah. They, they, should, they, get, they shouldn't have really let me in after they I found out. They, yeah. I bet they get loads of Leeds Trinity students like, is this the right one? <laughs> They're like, oh, that's another dumb one. I, be, I bet they put stickers <laughs> on the floor to at, go to your university. To be fair, at the time, it was Play part of the uni, but on all the things it says Leeds Trinity. But yeah. Okay. So yeah, it wasn't a great start. So uh, yeah. So how come you got into it then? You did religious studies. Yeah. So um, I had a boyfriend at the time. He's like, "You're very horny. I think we should look at different things. You know, why don't we go see a sex therapist?" I'd done a few questionable things at this point. Um, wait, wait, wait. wait. So, so this was at, like eighteen, nineteen. 1920. 1920. Right. Yeah. And your boyfriend at night, was he the I'm same age? Was he the same no, age? He was a little bit older, but um, basically one time we went out together and it ended up having a foursome of three of his pals. <laughs> this was before him. Um, and he was like, yeah, I think you're a bit horny. Um, why don't you go see a sex therapist? I went and seen her. I thought, don't like her at all. She's very, very cool. Didn't... Yeah. So then I thought, right, next step, obviously porn. Yeah. yeah. Obviously, I was young. That's like how your thinking goes. That didn't work. What other things I thought, right, also, next step. Yeah, do the opposite. I want to monetize. I don't want to be a slut also, for free. Also, as well, like... Uh, well done to that ex-boyfriend for turning a positive and turning it into a problem. Do yeah, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, yeah. Oh, I've got a beautiful 21-year-old sex-obsessed girlfriend. Yeah. How can we fix this? <laughs> like, you fucking this idiot. This woman is too horny. I've, I've got too much money in the bank. <laughs> Ugh. Fucking idiot. What is he doing? Yeah. Um, so he made you see a sex therapist. You didn't like that. Yeah. And you were like, fuck. Because, yeah, if you're going to shag, get paid That's to shag. That's what I thought. I thought, right, this could, I don't want to be, you know, one of the town bikes. I thought, I'm just going to start getting paid for it. So I started researching where when I was at my desk, I kept getting Ian ethics exactly. in fucking philosophy. I thought, why am I so bad at ethics? And then, um, yeah, so I started researching into it and I started, everything I found on Google was US based. There was nothing UK. So I'm like a little hound, you know, Google, Google, Google. Yeah. YouTube um, had this agency on there. So I messaged them. I was like, hello, I want to be a porn star. Can you help me? Yeah. They were like, yeah, get your flight booked and um, come over. We'll represent you. So I did that. I read a couple of books and stuff about this girl who's really depressed and porn ruined her life. And I thought, that's for me, great. Wow. <laughs> Let me get a bit of that. Um, and then, that like, you know when you go to get an abortion and they make you listen to the heartbeat? Yeah. <laughs> like, exactly. You want to be a porn like... star, you've got to read this book. Yeah, but it was good because it gave it's me like... like a 48-day waiting period. <laughs> yeah, and I was, um, it gave me like uh, things about their rates and avians and that. So I got a bit of information from this woman's depression and, you know, sad life story. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then, yeah, I went over there and did that. But you know the weird thing? I'd done a photo shoot with this guy and introduced him to a guy called One Eye Jack. Um, <laughs> <laughs> <and> it, <laughs> Hang on, how did he lose his eye? <laughs> he hasn't one, lost an eye. Yeah, about that. It, it, a, it, it was the rear eye, eye. <laughs> correct. One Eye Jack! It's, it's like auditioning to be a pirate. <laughs> one Eye Jack! One Eye Jack. But One Eye Jack was really helpful because he was like, you should film your own first porno in case you ever become like big or like you want to sell it. So I was like... For Amid. posterity, uh, you see. <laughs> So Don't get I, spunk yeah. in your eye. <laughs> Film your first porno and hide it under a big X. Yeah, yeah. I sell treasure chests. If you, yeah, make a map with where to find it in case you ever lose it. Well, funny enough, I did fucking lose it. <laughs> <laughs> and 
yeah, so I was like, great, you can film it, because he was a videographer, obviously. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He got this uh, Newcastle lad. I was like, right, let's all meet. I'm flying, flying from Heathrow in the morning. Let's go to the hotel room. Obviously, I'd never done porn before. I didn't realise I need STI testing, so I was like, fuck, better yeah. use a condom. Um, but anyway, that's coming so much handy now, years yeah. later, for OnlyFans. I was like, thank you, One-Eyed Jack. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. oh, yeah, he was he was a pioneer, was yeah. One-Eyed Jack. Yeah. If he, if Is that Because he was... <laughs> one arm in the camera. I think yeah, sure his depth perception would have been off for yeah, yeah. filming stuff. I think his, his, um, yeah. I, I think the one eye is the it's like a secret oh, right, source yeah, right. of life. Oh, like a, uh, like a myst- mystery ball. What's it called? Those things where people see the future. Uh, a, oh, magic eight ball. No, you idiot. A, uh, crystal ball. Crystal ball. Yeah. A magic right, yeah. eight ball magic where people ball. see the future. <laughs> yeah, it tells you the future. <laughs> I mean, not accurately. It's uncanny. <laughs> okay. I messed him afterwards. Did you use a crystal ball or a magic eight ball? Yeah. I mean, what's the difference, really? Uh, well, yeah, actually. Yeah, Magic yeah, 8 is it. more piratey, so yeah, I think we'll go with the Magic 8. I think it's more use- it's more um, useful, a Magic 8 ball, because everyone can use one. Whereas Crystal Ball, <laughs> it's only people who claim they can see in it, isn't it? Like, if I looked in a Crystal Ball, I don't, don't know what's what. Can't read the ball. <laughs> I don't know what the fuck we're talking about. Um, so, uh, 10 years you've been doing it, near yeah. thereabouts. I mean, I had a little look online, and you've you've done a fair bit. Yeah. What's been What's been your favourite thing that you've done, and your least favourite? Oh well, well, well. Favourite? Oh, there's been loads of good ones. Sometimes you won't realise you're actually having so much fun on set till the end because some of the fun ones have been absolute torture when you're there. But you're having such bonding yeah. and such crack with like your colleagues. Like there was one guy, he used to fly out to Barcelona, gorgeous location, get you into makeup at six a.m. in the morning. By fucking four p.m. you still had started shooting. He'd be like, "Where's your makeup gone?" It's like, "What? Well, I'm in thirty fucking degree heat." Yeah, yeah. And yeah. he was um. He actually had an abscess on his arsehole. So he was... <laughs> wow. <laughs> he was directing from the bath and he was just, just covering himself up with a little flat fan like, Sienna, come in here. So I'd have to go and take direction off a man in a bathtub with an abscessed arsehole with a little flannel covering up his dignity. Wow. That's brown-eyed Jack. <laughs> <laughs> but like, ones like that, you would actually have so much fun on because it was just such chaos. You were like, what yeah. the fuck is going on why with this he, mayhem? Was he the guy you were shooting with? He's or? the director. But he, why was he naked? Because his abscess was hurting him, so he's in the back. Oh, right. He oh, was right, sort right, of right, abscessed right. arsehole with a flannel over him, so I couldn't see his cock because it was unprofessional. Right. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. That's, that's yeah. the last so, thing that you want to do on a porn shoot, see two cocks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is that like you with his little computer on a stool? He'd be in the bath, flannel. He'd shout you in, like, I'd give me a bit of direction, then I'd trot off back to the yeah. stunt cock. I What's think I'd, I'd, need cock? More than, I'd need more than a flannel. <laughs> <laughs> At least a face towel. <laughs> <laughs> I need a serviette. Yeah. <laughs> um, what's the worst ones you've done? Oh, worst one is uh, you're actually going to die at this. It's like called cinematic erotica. What? It's ve- you would fucking hate. It's not Slimer style. It's not. It's not Slimer. Well, it don't destroy you. I've it destroys already, your soul. I've already talked before about what one of my favourite ones to watch. And I forgot the name of it and I described it. And then when the podcast went out, I had 20 messages from people. Who was it? It's called Ultimate Surrender. (laughs) And I just mentioned it once. It was like UFC style, like... It, it, it was like they grapple and fuck each other. Right. And I liked women it. Or, women, women and men or men or women Ju- women? Just women, women. Oh, okay. Women and men are beat I like yeah, yeah. grappling. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I had to That's do got it. a different vibe. It'd yeah. just be kind of a man raping a woman, yeah. though, wouldn't it, in a way? Um, I think I'd prefer that to the girl. Girl girl's a bit boring, isn't it? I... Uh... Yeah, but in that It's a scenario, classic. It's very much your teenage wanking style well, girl girl. Well, this it? is what I was... I, I, I remember being into it. I hadn't watched it in years. But what I liked about <laughs> it is it was porn and also I could have a cheeky bet with myself about who'd win. <laughs> <laughs> and I just, I just kind of... It fed into the gambling addict in me where I was like, oh, I'll tell you what, the blue's got bigger thighs. <laughs> so that's going to help a ground game. Yeah. Do you know what? Reach. Do you not think it was um, staged, though? Do you reckon... Oh, if it was oh. fixed, I'm never watching this again. <laughs> oh, that's bullshit. Freddie's going to bet 365. To get <laughs> We're going to have to pull the video up, I think, so we can have a little look. I think we've watched it on a previous one, haven't we? Um, uh, so, yeah, what's, what, what was your cinematic erotica? Basically, it's very, it comes, don't get me wrong, comes out drop dead gorgeous. I'm not going to name it because I'm going to slander them on a podcast. Yeah, but I bet it's like a woman like you, like dressed in like a white sheath, looking out over a really beautiful sunset. Worse, like, you're soaking fucking wet because they're like, use like dark looking 
fucking visual effects and that. So everything's very shadowy. You can't spit. You can't be too not noisy. You can't be too loud. You have to be very like. Uh, oh really? And it, it's for fucking hours, and it's like all a lot of soft porn. Soft porn is the worst because it's no actual sex, but just acting like you having sex, but acting like you having slow, boring sex. Yeah, I, see. I mean, I, I mean, like. 20 hour days. Oh, that sounds shit. Is it? Is that so like that? I cried. I cried. I was like, I want to go home. Is that like the porn for women? The ones? That, yes, exactly. They, they need the a fucking bit more feminists. Story. Yeah, yeah, well, yeah, they need a little bit more because men are a bit more like, oh, tits. It, yeah, in, done. It's just more art, isn't it? I'm not yeah. into art. Like, I've had like three guys at a time, 10 guys, fine. You're in there, two hours, boom, 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 shag, shag, gone. Yeah. This, this. And then they're, and they're so tight as well. They wouldn't even get you like a water on set or food. This guy's just like running around like a maniac. Like this is terrible. Well, do you know what? I'm like you then because I would. I'd rather be fucked by ten men <laughs> than have a shower. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Um, so I can't stand faff. Yeah. And that's what it so feels faffy, like. Is long faff. faffy. When you, because cause look, if I was, if 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 I was you, and I knew that I had ten dicks to suck, and then I was going home, yeah. then I'd be like, right, one, two, three, four, right, I've got to get them done, and then I'm fucking off. You home. take five at a time. Exactly. Da, 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 just all over the, yeah. not to that music. Okay. <laughs> Hand pipe in the cocks. <laughs> it's like the Blue Men Group. <laughs> 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 um, but when it's like, oh, right, okay, we just want to fit, you don't know how long you're going to be there for. And that's what pisses me off when it's just <laughs> needless faff. And this is why I couldn't be a porn star. But yeah. well, you know what? Sometimes that's the problem you have when guys can't get wood. So I was doing um, a DP scene one time with two guys. I'm usually. Double penetration double for penetration. those that aren't in the yeah. know. <laughs> well, someone Do you think anyone to teach oh, yeah. Yeah. Men yeah. isn't Ask me what well CNC means, I fucking know. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> it's consensual, non consensual. Oh, right. That's what okay. it's like. Let's rate me, but you're not really, but it looks like you I are. I think I've seen right. a female with a surrender and the, the CNC seems the end. Uh, this is a comedy <laughs> podcast. <laughs> Please don't look at my computer. <laughs> Uh, so um, uh, no, I'm into all sorts. I'm, I'm just I'm just grateful to be a part of the team. Do you know yeah. what I mean? I'm just, team player. Yeah, love I'm it. just I'm just grateful to be having a go. You know. So this one guy, usually I will fluff a guy and I'll give him a little helping hand. You know, fluff a guy. Bit, in, bit of encouragement, pre C, okay. no problem. But when there's two, you can't really do that because what happens is it's like up down, up down. But one's up, one's down, and then you're worn <laughs> out before you seen. So this guy was like, "Can you get suckers off?" And I was like, "No, sorry." Um, and so I was just like pottering about, doing my own thing, prepping the ass. <laughs> And I was like, no, I can't. So that obviously dented his ego and that was it. Really? Yeah. And then he had to go wank off for ages. He's like, fuck me. And then because I didn't want to upset the other guy, I'd be like, oh, suck him off, then suck him off, then suck him off, then suck him off. And then by the time the scene starts, I'm like, fuck me, I can't do anything. Wait, so... You need so to preserve your energy. Did I get that right that like before the scene starts, in order to keep the dicks hard, you'll do a bit of... Some well, you don't bit. have to, you know, it's not in the contract. But, you know, you want a nice chemistry, a little bit of a snog, a little bit of a... Yeah. Finger oh, or a suck, you know, it's just nice, nice bit of work. It's you know like I mean? having a few, few 30 yarders before football. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> Bending a few free kicks. Yeah. Yeah. You're, free basically, kicks. you're basically going in net, aren't I'm you? I'm a team player. <laughs> Doing that thing where they do the high knees. Yeah. <laughs> Try and head the ball. That, that day I was up for, up for your high knees. Definitely right. not. So the, girl, the I, guy flopped. That was a disaster. But the scene came out so good in the end. I never, I never knew that because I would, again, I'd be too. Um, what's the word? I'd be too embarrassed to be like, hey, listen, you know you're going to stick this in your mouth in a minute anyway. Might you do it just now, <laughs> just, just Usu because? Usually if the girl is comfortable, you'd approach the man, you know, do a little bit of a rap. Right. When the guy says it to you, you're a bit more like, mm. Yeah. But if have you ever had it then when you've gone over and you've looked at a dick and you've gone, do you know what? That's That looks like it's got a lot of texture to it. I can't yeah. wait to, I can't <laughs> wait to have that fears. inside my mouth. Yeah. And then you've gone over to the guy and you've gone, oh, yeah, uh, you know, we're filming in a minute. Do you want me to just give it a little noshy-nosh? And the guy's gone, nah, you're all right, love, don't worry about <laughs> well, it. Well, guys that don't like it will usually go off to a room by themselves and wank. So, like, that's your indication, don't approach me. Right. Do you not yeah. just... Do you not Some just... men don't want you to touch them to the scene. They're really? there for a job. Yeah. That's fucking... 
prop that's proper work because they, you know they're in they're in the zone and they need to they might if they don't pawn for a lot of years as well they might have to think of a certain thing to get them going yeah, yeah. really they're, they're the Roy Keens of pawn yeah. aren't they they're like yeah. they're here to do a job yeah in the zone. <laughs> like in the tunnel at Highbury <laughs> yeah, Patrick yeah. Vieira's there <laughs> no messing about <laughs> yeah. I'm here to do a job <laughs> <laughs> going in two footed because you pissed them off <laughs> 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 she'll never work again <laughs> yeah 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 ruined Alfinger Harland's <laughs> pawn career uh, that was such a niche reference um, um, okay, I, I again, I just never knew that, so that's kind of uh, that's kind of baffling to me. Do they not just take fucking like Viagra and just have a? But you can inject your dick too. For what? No, 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 With no. Viagra. I'm not meant to say this because it's a bit like you're not meant to say this, but I love injectors. I do. You do. Yeah, they just get the job done. But obviously, like a lot of guys are against it because it's not natural. One, vi- all guys. I don't n- think that's the reason that they're yeah. against it. I think yeah. it's injecting your cock. Yeah. I think that's. Well, even taking Viagra's, all porn stars should take Viagra's really, unless they're like superhuman, because you have to stay hard for like an obscene amount of time, really. Like, who the fuck fucks yeah, for like exactly. 45 minutes or two hours? So, and you've got to get wood, and it's not. It's not like good on everyone on set for everyone to be waiting for you up and down with your erection. You've just got to stay solid for the full duration. So if you take Viagra, it usually happens. But some guys will get like headaches and that from it. But if you don't porn for a long time, you'll just start injecting your penis so it's just solid as a rock. You're not even horny. You just walk around with a big 10-inch hard dick. I'm like, yes. Wow. And where did they get this? Uh, <laughs> asking for <laughs> yeah, just No, I'm asking for me. I'm asking for me. <laughs> the destroyer. The destroyer's yeah. coming to terms with that. Yeah, he's going to be a right cock destroyer now. He's got his injections. <laughs> yeah, like a hurricane. Um, I'll have to find out for you, actually. Obviously, I don't buy it. I'm just thinking of sponsors for the podcast. <laughs> We had a VPN sponsor for a while. That's as close as we go. Yeah, yeah. Um, is there any porn that you haven't done that you want to do? I want to do some stuff in America. It's not like a little niche as such, but I like the Evil Angel stuff, the oily stuff, like some more What's the evil inland an- what's DP. What's the Evil Angel stuff? It's just more like Gonzo. That's like, like I've done that type of porn for, but that's just like a brand, if you get me. Okay. Like if you want to wear Nike and Adidas type thing. So okay. I've done that stuff for like cum loud on that, but I'd like to do it for like this company. Because okay. it's really nice. It's like oiled up ass, bright bikinis, big shots of the penetration. Uh, oh, okay. So is that's... it like Brazzers? Like yeah. A, like, like, yeah. yeah but a bit more nice. hardcore. Right, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's actually kind of lovely that it's like, I just, like, not that you'd want to do a specific type, but just like, I just want to work with these people. Yeah, they're yeah. really nice. Jules John, he does gorgeous them. stuff. Oh, that's good. Have you got, uh, here's a question, personal life, have you got a partner? And if so, do they mind you doing this sort of work? I don't have one at the minute, but one of my exes was tipping me on OnlyFans the other night. It's my wow, that's odd. Yeah. yeah. Well, it's more odd because the bastard was so fucking tight when we were together. He <laughs> couldn't get me a Diet Coke. And now he sent me 300 quid to see me with a black cock. Wow. Out of the table's turn. Wow. I know. That is, that's insane. Oh. It's insane that it you is. tip that one. I get with proper porn addicts, me. Like, Do they you? Get, they go with, like, the fantasy. And then they love seeing me with loads and loads of dicks. Really? Right. Yeah. What? Like, like today? Partners. Hello. <laughs> like today? Yeah. <laughs> They'd be like, come on, get the cocks yeah. out. What, um, so, how, do, how do you do on OnlyFans? What's, uh, how big is it? It's good. So I have a paid page and a free page. Okay. Um, so I'm in the top 0% and that is my main income now. Top so, 0%? So porno, yeah. So we have like, obviously a big percentage and zero is like, the, the top number. Oh, really? Yeah. So that's like my main income now and porn's just like a little, like an edit action advertisement type thing or just because I like doing it. Porn doesn't pay as well as OnlyFans, obviously. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think you need to get number 100% on here as well. For balance. Oh, yeah, yeah, the worst like, the person. One, the one that makes the least money. He's already here. Slimer. I read somewhere like the average wage on OnlyFans is like um, $145 a month. I was like, that can't mm. be right. I suppose, there must be so many, though, that just don't to make be, anything. Yeah, yeah there'll be, be someone there that's just chilling. To be fair, I genuinely think that if you're an OnlyFans and you're making $145 a month, that is that is the world telling you that you're a bit of a monster. Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah. like, that, is, that is the world telling you yeah. you're not fit enough to do this job. Like, $100, 100 yeah. just to... Yeah. You're a three acted like a ten. Yeah. Yeah. That's the people yeah. doing stand-up who've been doing it ten years and still doing well, open spots. Well, do you know what it is, is, and I genuinely believe this with um, like OnlyFans and stuff, is I think that the people who are at the top are really smart business people. Definitely. Because, because it's not enough just to be fit. 
because yeah, yeah, that doesn't even do. count. Even there's a fucking million. Nazis. There's yeah. a million yeah. fit yeah. people. Same with girls. comedy. Who yeah. do loads of extra And men will rank up fit. fit Instagram models on their Instagram feed. They don't need you as an audience. Oh fans. yes, we will. Yeah. <laughs> they see your feet. They're like, oh. I'll tell you what. Jim Short leggings have done an awful lot for me. <laughs> <laughs> God damn. Um, Maybe they can sponsor you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's what they want. They want yeah. this ass. Yeah. In their leggings. <laughs> It's being bent over the camera. Guys, I've just been doing some squats. Are they busting at the seams? Yeah. No, what Freddie is the before picture. Yeah. <laughs> it's Look just how me. strong they are. Hey, they even make leggings for me and Brown Eyed Jack. You Come could, on. You could uh, go as non binary as well. I feel like that's going to be like a unique. Oh, yeah, I'll be the new Sam Smith. <laughs> okay. I've got a. Uh, I sent you a video. Freddie's got a camel toe. I, I sent you. Um, uh, an email, check this out. So Sam Smith has been getting a bit of flack uh, today. If you have a look, it's the attachment. Oh. The attachment. So this is from uh, the latest video. I have seen oh, this the other day. And I, I like the costume. Don't they me. look, don't they look like a mascot for a new dishwasher tablet? <laughs> <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Like, He's very outrageous now, isn't he? They. Is, oh, they, is, they, they, oh shit. they is they is they. very outrageous, isn't they? I'm really um, bad at the pronouns just and imagine, stuff. Just imagine you're Ali G. That's how I get through it. <laughs> um, right, they. Now the thing is, is there are some people who have been looking at this video and going, "Ugh, ugh, it's disgusting. Ugh, 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 ugh." A, ma a man. Dr I mean, there's ugh. worse out there. Well, yeah. I mean, I think, th th like, don't get me wrong. I don't think it's sexy. Um, but my only thing is that. I quite like it's the bit, bit where, where, he's, get, where <laughs> yeah. he's getting stuff squirted at him. And it's oh, kind of just yeah. like this. You but, know, after this but, episode goes out, there's 100% going to be a Freddie Quinn Photoshop face on the... <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> do it. Definitely do it. <laughs> I think by, by the end of the recording, I yeah, will yeah. have done it. But, <laughs> but I think he's just going to be a bit... If Sam Smith was in a pair of boxes there, I'd be like, ugh, do you know what I mean? Yeah. Just because... Yeah, you know. I, yeah. I, 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 think, I think I think he likes to be outrageous, though, doesn't he? he knows people's gonna that's gonna get people talking. Yeah, they, this they. Sorry, they. <laughs> I don't. I don't think it even even is that outrageous. Like that's a norm. The, there's no dicks on show. It's fine. No, no I mean, so, yeah. I, I mean, can they put that on MTV? So I that's mean, the thing. that is the hardest working corset in showbiz, though. Fuck yeah. me. Yeah. Look that's... at that. I thought, and I've, nipple tassels. I thought Sam Smith lost loads of weight. Like, well, the thing is, though, is then, I. I, I think know. that uh, it's that probably kind of hard to... <laughs> Same to... thing. <laughs> <laughs> no, you're thinking of Adele. Yeah. <laughs> it's literally what you just said. I did, say Adele. did you just say yeah, that? Yeah. This happens all the time. Wow. Why Even do I Even in comedy that? clubs, I'll like say a joke and then the what audience will say on? the joke back to me and I go, that's literally what I just... <laughs> I don't know what it is with me. No, you are thinking of Adele. Yeah. <laughs> so, <laughs> um, yeah, yeah. I just thought that was pretty mad. I've seen some stuff on the uh, internet today that I, uh, that well, I want to show you. Uh, the first thing I want to show you, you're going to fucking love this, Sienna. Really? Uh, is it? Is it? No, 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 no. I thought, no. I thought Man Fight's 10 year old was going to be the Sam Smith cock. thing. That would have been great. <laughs> no, no, no. This, this is a new reality show. Do you like your reality shows? Oh my fuck. I've heard about this. Right, click on this. This, this is. This is it fucking weird, isn't it? This is mams. Milf Manor. Oh, right. Milf Manor. Milf Manor viewers feel sick after watching twisted new series where they date each other's sons. <laughs> but, but they can't date their own son, can they? No. No. <laughs> I'm just saying. <laughs> I bet this is Channel 4. I mean, I've seen some videos where they do date their sons. <laughs> yeah, oh, it's filmed in Norfolk. God. <laughs> yeah, Norfolk Milf, Milf Manor, Milf Cottage. <laughs> <laughs> oh Amazing. fucking hell! Uh, yeah, so basically, it's loads of like women. They're all basically in the mid to late forties, and they all have sons who are like nineteen, twenty, and they're all just dating each other. Basically, wow, it's right. fucking. But, I'm definitely but it's watching. Not, this. It's not blind dating, is it? So it's like Love Island for mums and sons. Yes. Yeah. Right. God, I wish I had a son. Imagine going on a dating <laughs> show with your mum. Yeah. Are oh, oh, these like mil just like fit women, not like MILF porn stars? No, no, no. They're just fit right, older women. Right, okay. Yeah. I thought you were like, like MILF. No, no, no. They're just fit older women. Which way do you think it happened? Do you think the mums ask the son to go on? Or do you reckon the sons are more likely to ask the mums Mom's to go on? Mums ask son, therefore. Yeah. Do you know what, though? Is <laughs> I, would, I would quite like to, to watch DILF Manor. Oh my where god! I'll go on that. Where it's where it's, where it's it's hot dads and like nineteen year old girls, yeah. <laughs> or even better, hot dads and hot sons. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> yes, that's a one. <laughs> I just think it's fucking mental. And Sam Smith, yeah. they can host it. Yes. Yes. Now we're talking. We yeah. have got ourselves a fucking hit. A TV show. Let's do it. Uh, Dilf Dungeon, we'll call it. Dilf Dungeon. <laughs> it's getting darker and darker. Uh, would you ever go on like a reality show like like these sort of things? It it would depend. I would definitely be open to it if it was quite a fun one, not a yeah, sinister yeah. one. What about that porn? There was like a porn reality show, wasn't there? Where they like win a... a th- it was on, what was it? Pornhub or something. So oh, like Brazzers House. That's the one. <laughs> I've seen it advertised. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't watch it. Seen it advertised. Couldn't get through. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, they had to do it. was like The Apprentice. Where they yeah, like, you have to go good, and do actually, a didn't it? I didn't, I didn't actually watch it, but I've seen them doing like games and stuff. Yeah, that'd be good fun. Fuck off. There's Porn Apprentice. There's like a Porn Apprentice, yeah. That's amazing. So like today we're going to do like DP or whatever. Really? <laughs> what? And then the winner got like a Pornhub contract. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I think that was it. Something I can't remember like what the the website was. It was, it was either Pornhub or what's the other one? Browsers. It was browsers. Red it tube. Browsers? Yeah. Might have been Red Tube. Yeah. yeah. For a while, I think I might have said this before, but for, Red a, tube house. <laughs> for a while, uh, you know, you you have your favorite words on your phone, like your yeah. most used words. For a while, my number one favorite word was RedTube.com. <laughs> <laughs> That's wow! Say, every time I open my phone, it'd have redtube.com as my first thing, and I think it was like a self-fulfilling prophecy because every time I open my phone, I go, "Ah, yeah, I'll go on Red Tube." So Red Tube, <laughs> what's the main genre on there then? Because I know X videos is very hard. Porn up's more like your fake taxis and your browsers. What's Red Tube? Well, I don't use Red Tube, so uh, I don't use it as much anymore. You know, I'm more of a no, but it used to be your favourite words. So <laughs> yeah, I feel like yeah, yeah, yeah. You That's as all people, you know just it. loads of different porn, really. What just... like though? Just everything. All the, he had all the categories. That's what he I liked does, about he it. He does not want to commit, does he? Yeah, yeah. He doesn't want to commit to a certain genre. That's why he's going, well, the layout was just better. Yeah. Was just, it was a better user experience for the casual everything. browsing porn it's talking. just like the SEO. Yeah. <laughs> we want to just, see that red tube history. The way the meta tags were. <laughs> the colour range was great. It was just the logo. It's just a good place to be. You could chat with friends. Spend the whole day on there. <laughs> <laughs> you could rate porn, do a little description and stuff. Did you? Do you uh, ever comment on porn videos on tube sites? No, 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 no. I'm, I just can't. I, I can't don't even comment to... on Twitter. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I just could never. If I ever caught myself being like, "Oh, the lighting on this was great," I just, yeah. I'd oh. kill myself. Yeah. I'd straight up kill myself. <laughs> Because that's the bit, that's the minute when you know that you've gone down. I want to set you a challenge today. I want you to go and porn up and, and comment on some videos. Oh, oh okay. Oh. See, comment that would be a fun Wait game. Wait a minute. The, Let's see if this. we can read out some of Sienna's comments. Ooh. So if, you oh. type in, if you type in porn up. The best be fucking do, nice. Do you, have, do you read the comments on your videos? <laughs> yeah, yeah, I do. Sometimes, sometimes they're nice and think, oh, I'll lovely. Then you'll get like a proper like horrible one. I'm like, you, what you cheeky do? bastard. Start telling them back. That's the same with comedy. <laughs> I'd read the, read the comments that you get about this yourself. This guy was yeah. like, why did you... Poached eggs. Poached eggs. Poached eggs. That's a running theme on this podcast. <laughs> <laughs> it was pretty. It was pretty. <laughs> you didn't have a... You, you, on poor <laughs> <and> friend. <laughs> you, didn't, you didn't have anyone mentioned hash browns. <laughs> uh, which is your favourite video? Honestly, for the kids? honestly, Sienna, of all the things that you could have mentioned, of all the things you could have mentioned. I just was thinking, let's be searching poached eggs and porn. Freddy, or what Freddy the... used to have a poached egg addiction. Really? <laughs> yeah, yeah I used but to have a Related po- to Pornhub? No, I think that we've been searching poached egg porn before. <laughs> we have, we have a search. Um, <laughs> the fact that it shows up on I don't know, we'll have to have a look at some. So the, these ones there, the Sienna Day ones, these are ones I've uploaded myself, but there's me with two black guys. That's a nice video. Hey, there you go. So Click flat. on the one with two black guys. Which one? No, the down. Go down. Oh, this one. That yeah, one. Yeah. Bit of yeah. The one with the two there black guys. Some good comments on that. <laughs> finally, finally get a bit of diversity on this podcast. Yeah. Um, There's uh, me and Budapest on the it. street. That's not me. Okay, go down. Go down. Go down. Let's read some of these comments. Where's the comments. We're going to play the video. Where's the comment section? Oh, uh, hold on. Go up. Up. I've got likes and God, God, look at Tom pretending app. he doesn't know how to yeah. navigate a porn yeah. website. <laughs> You'd never get this I on Red Tube. Yeah. This is the only time where I can use a computer I, on this podcast. I don't, I don't know if we can get comments. Scroll right no. down. Oh, here we oh. go. So we got Big Dick Addiction. Oh, He true said, story. when she's being fucked and choked, and then it has her little smiley face with some hearts. I'm disappointed he spelled The rational ass of his little 23 is very disturbing. I've probably been pounded by two big black hunks. Yeah. It's probably slap marks. The, the rash in her ass that's visible is very disturbing. The rash in her bum hole. 
Yeah. That's insane. Well, it, it's, it's cured. I think it's gone. We'll have to have a check. <laughs> uh, the fact he said it's at the 23rd minute as well. He's given yeah. us a timestamp. He's, watch, he's watching a few times, and he? he likes that rush. Hot little slut. I know that. A full stop there. I like, yeah. I like that he's just committed to grammar. I mean, look, he's got a nice cockpit in the background. Uh, Sienna is hot. Yeah, yeah. nice. Uh, she kind of looks a bit like Rita Ora. You look absolutely nothing. <laughs> Where like is that? Rita Ora. 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 Only five comments, and it's been up a while, so... An awful, maybe, yeah. So minute, maybe people many, don't do comments for you. How many uh, views has it had? 218,000. Five many, people have commented. Fair. Yeah, I think most people are like us. You, you finish, yeah, and then you close your laptop, innit? The yeah. yeah, and then you go be ashamed somewhere. Yeah, I yeah. think you really need a hook at the beginning for engagement. When, when yeah. did the <laughs> comment go, like, mid-wank, pre-wank, end-wank, 23 minutes in? So there is no yeah. way in hell... Depends that, how they spelled it. So there's, there's no like one the, Sticky fingers. <laughs> yeah, they're all very <laughs> short <laughs> comments, <laughs> aren't they? There's no way in hell that I would be mid-wank and stop and then go... Sienna looks like a lovely young woman, and then yeah. comment or whatever, and then go back to wank. I just Some men do have it. proper long wanks, though, don't they? Do you know when I was watching my ex search for porn when he'd be like off his fucking rocker? He could work a porn site like I have never seen. Really? Like, he would just not filter it, get to the page he wants, how to like get it dead fast without like even, like, if I'm on it, I'm like dead slow. Did you used to go out with Tom? <laughs> How did you know? Um, should we look at it? This one's got 2.2 million views, so oh, you would think it's one. got more. Comments. Yeah. Maybe. Maybe. A fake taxi. Yeah. This is a fake taxi. This one looks like it was done uh, a while ago. Deep anal for cock loving Five info. years ago. Yeah. Let's have a look at the comments. There's something about it in your 16 accent. 16 comments. Oh, There's wow. something about it in your accent that's brilliant. Deep anal for cock loving nympho. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this one's not very nice. Sienna Day used to be a natural beauty. Now she looks like a fucked up fake boob Botox grot. So sad. <laughs> Oh, but wow. don't if he said he prefers me like that. <laughs> True, she used to be such a beauty. But her being this dirty looking all kind of makes me want to fuck her even more, if that makes sense. I'm not going to lie, it wasn't a great year. I like a bit look. trashy. I, can't, year. I admit with the comments. <laughs> oh, my God. Can someone join me on Fortnite squads? <laughs> needs one. <laughs> 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 I'll, I hope after he has a wank, he does this. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. He comes and dabs. Her ass is tight, but her bond with the Lord should be tighter. Wow, now that is insane. Well, did he go to your university? I know. <laughs> you, did. Not you, Gary. <laughs> That's your lecturer. <laughs> Leeds Trinity, isn't it? <laughs> Fucking hell. Hot right. as hell when she's eating his ass and jacking him. Uh, and there's a quote in this one. Did his mama not tell him not to share? Sorry, I couldn't hold back. I started laughing so fucking loud on that one. I don't know what some of them are on about. That's the thing. What's that mean? Mary says that in. I don't know. I'm I'm coom for days with him. I don't think our partners have ever been so funny that I've had to stop it and laugh. Yeah. Yeah, I know. I don't think a comedy special's ever been so funny that I've stopped (laughs) it and laughed. (laughs) Excellent. Excellent. Yeah, great. Uh, Now, this is a good girl. There was capitals in that one. Add my takeover account on Snapchat. Boot takeover. Wow. A lot, lot going on there. A bit of Fortnite, there's a couple a, of insults, a bit a, of excellence. There's a lot of fucking... Good, for, good variety, I'd say. <laughs> Imagine being such a loser that you try to find friends on porn. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I like the it. idea that he's got loads of choice. He just wants to play with someone that likes the same shit that he does. Yeah, just yeah, like, yeah. yeah. yeah there's nothing worse Bond than playing... over the wank material. There's nothing worse than playing Fortnite with someone you don't have anything to talk about with. <laughs> <laughs> That would just be sad. <laughs> uh, go back on to what I uh, sent you. Um, There's more comments. So we've got um, uh, we've got some stuff here. Uh, I want to show you a couple oh, of things. Uh, so one of the things I want to show you is this one. Man fights 10-year-old. Okay. So uh, this is a video. You're going to have to be quick to pause it, Tom. It's okay. I've got the volume. So down. I'm going to show you the whole video, and I want you to let me know whereabouts you stand with this. So this is a video that was taken well, where, in... Where he's on a wacky morning. So, so this was a video that was taken in America um, of a 10-year-old boy fully fronted out a fully grown I've, man. I've seen I'm, this I'm one gonna, I'm going to look at this one because there's less lights on it. Yeah, you might still need to talk into the mic. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> um, I so, won't, won't speak. <laughs> so, um, basically, uh, he's, he's fronting out this guy and the guy finally snaps. Right. Uh, but the whole thing is, is who do you side with? So just play the video. Is there any hot noise or not? Yeah, there's going to be noise. You can hear it through your headphones. You might oh. just put them on for this. Oh, one sec. Oh, shit. Oh, the back's a front. 
I'm yeah, gonna... you, you push him in like that. Oh. <laughs> Sorry, I do porn, do <laughs> Knows how to work a cock, but headphones. Fuck me, that's yeah. loud. Right. <laughs> right, go on. So you can see here oh, that yeah. this 10-year-old is really fucking fronting him out. The 10-year-old is only about two inches shorter than him. Yeah, he's not a big dude. No, yeah. the weight class is there. <laughs> Dad? Based on that alone, it's a fair fight. <laughs> 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 this is, this is, this is a episode one songs. of Do Dilf, Dilf Dungeon. <laughs> <laughs> so you can see that this guy's he's, he's trying to sort of get away from this kid who is properly standing and fronting him out. What's it over, this fight? So this fight is over... I think he had... This guy had a disagreement with uh, this little boy's mum. But the boy's mum has <laughs> long Manor since again. fucking gone... And she's not like it was a disagree. It wasn't like a a full on altercation. Why hasn't she yeah. took a kid? More at the point. Well, this is it. Well, the kid looks like he's a. Well, the kid's a hard ass gangster, as you can see. Yeah. yeah. Is it, um, this is this is America, is it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Skip forward a little bit. So you just go there on. There you go. Bit. See, this is the bit. So oh, he's punching, punching him. In the yeah, heart. already had a slap. Kids punching, punching man. Right, yeah. Here we go. You ready? Oh. oh. Yeah. He's a little shit. Not even that bad. He didn't even punch him, he just strangled him. <laughs> the kid yeah. crying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He absolutely <laughs> finished him. Yeah, he was a right little shit, wasn't he? Yeah. yeah. So he, after, needed, he needed a bit of a whack. When the guy looked like he was going inside, the kid just started swinging at him. He defended himself maybe five times. Yeah, yeah. And then afterwards just grabbed him by the throat and just threw him on the floor. I don't think he threw him that hard. He was just trying to get him away, really. Can I take these yeah. off? Yeah, 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 yeah. Very loud then. So, uh, where do we do you reckon too far, not far enough, or just right? He didn't even hit him, he just strangled and pushed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah self defense. Ah, like, oh, yeah, self defense. Yeah, I it class wasn't, it wasn't that bad. He's the kid, of... you fast forwarded a bit before it started the, the punching, but he does punch him quite a few yeah. times. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. He, the guy does got, try to walk away and everything. And I, to be honest with you, unless he just legged it, I wouldn't have made it that far. No, nah. no, the kid had the tried minute... to do. <laughs> <laughs> I think that, I think, I think. I think that had he have done that when the kid was fronting him out, I think that that's too much. Yeah. But the minute that the kid throws a punch, yeah, and you but defend when it got it, physical, and it was it was quite a few punches and all, wasn't it? Yeah, I, I, again, he he didn't even really he didn't hit him. He cried like a proper baby. I I, I judged the guy more for his like pretend. <laughs> you know when he's going like. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's yeah. why I judge him more for than the. I'd have slapped the well. soul out of that kid's what's, body. What's the yeah. comments on these this video? <laughs> Sienna Day is <laughs> Anyone want to play Fortnite? What's that rash on his ass in 23 minutes? <laughs> anyone else I'm curious why we have a cameraman for this? Well, assuming it's a man. Anyone, See, anyone else curious as to why we have a cameraman for this? Yeah, it seems like Not a let really. me put my phone down, let's try and retain both type moves. Shut what up. What the fuck? Shut up, Brady Radio. Exactly. exactly. Everyone's got a camera phone in their pocket at all times. Yeah, Brady yeah. Radio, you daft cunt. Thunder Dan has said it's child abuse, period. He's 10. Between whatever awful parenting he's received and that episode of violence and verbal mocking, they could be a creative future this, this, school shooter. This shoes gives like, me the ick when people say, do better. Oh, it's yeah, so boring. Do better. Yeah, do do better. better. Shut up. Also, you don't need to write, period. And Just do I a will, full stop. <laughs> They've done a full stop. Full stop. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I, will, stops. I will tell you this as well. Actually, it's not child abuse. <laughs> what he's doing there is he's saving that kid a fucking ass kicking further down yeah. the line yeah. because what's going to happen is if that kid doesn't learn at 10 that oh if you hit people they're going to hit you back then one day he'll get to 18 and he'll fight somebody who will kick but the living but what's that kid like with other him. kids that's why he's like with an adult do you yeah. know what I mean totally he, that, that, this is how this kid is with people it's, it's to be not... fair the adult was that short you could have mistaken <laughs> was some, the kid big or the adult yeah. short no one <laughs> some knows. kids have to learn the lesson that people will fight back, and it's better that you learn that at 10 than you learn it at fucking... Oh, we're all available yeah. for babysitting. It's not a nursery, kids go. Yeah, I think the guy should have just shagged his mum. Paige says that's that have pissed him off more. When I looked that, there, that, would, that would have been brutal if he'd have gone on yeah. and just embraced her in a deep, passionate kiss. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Who made this heathen? <laughs> mm. Right. I love Twitter. It's my favourite social media. Do you? It's Porn, humour... Arguments, love it. I You're used to love it till about uh, about a month ago, after Musk took it. Yeah, and it's been all right for me. Why do you not like it now? Because it always puts you on the for you rather than the 
follow yeah, who yeah, you yeah. follow. So you're seeing shit you see, don't want to see. See, I like the for you because I'm not really interested. I follow a lot of people for work, just like courtesy followers. So I don't want to yeah. see arseholes every day of the week. You know what this I mean? This is it. But I have to. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> exactly. Sometimes you just want to scroll social media, just be yeah. lightly entertained, not gen yeah. Yeah. generally I get so scarred. much gear porn on mine now. Do you? Yeah, because I obviously like, follow guys in the industry and they'll be like, they'll do a bit of both. But what they do is retweet for retweet. Yeah, right. and so for some reason, I guess girls. I found um, the gay performers tend to put more hardcore stuff on the line, and the girls are more like blur the feet and put little kittens over the fanny and stuff. Oh, okay. Yeah. Blur their feet and put kittens over their yeah. fanny. That sounds <laughs> illegal. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> what an app. <laughs> um, Hence, rise your favourite. Is there any stuff that you don't do, Sienna? Is there any porn stuff that you like? Nah. 100%. What, uh, what no, I'm not into scat. Nah, nah. That, that'd be right off the table with me. Yeah, yeah. Probably. Well, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. Not into that in the slightest. I wouldn't do that erotic stuff no more. I have done some ropey stuff in the past I probably wouldn't do now. Um... So I did this um, scene for this guy. He's dead now. Um, I had to play a dead person. Oh. But I was young. I was 23. They're like, it's double pay. I'm like, I'll do it. And also the guy, when I think back to the guy that like was like to me, oh, do you want to do this? He was like, a bit older and he was sound. He's like, I'll be the guy so you'll feel safe. It's really professional. Yeah. I go there. They literally give you like makeup so you look like you've been strangled to death by oh, a guy. Gosh. So like, obviously now I wouldn't really do that because I'm like, it was when a guy wrote to me on Twitter, I loved you in this scene. I thought, yeah, I'm dead. That's a bit fucking weird, isn't it? Yeah, thought, yeah. But you don't think at the time, oh, people are going to be wanking to me dead. You just kind of yeah. think, double pay, hello. Yeah. I'll tell you what, on the flip side, your funeral is going to be very busy. It's, very, they've got images <laughs> <on their feet. laughs> it's going to be full of those men with semis. Like, a lot of people asking if it's open casket. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely, we're going to end up with bukkake and get a fan. <laughs> so they give you this chewing gum, so you like froth at the mouth when you die. So like, you have, to, you have to put a good joke up. Really? Like, you know, you have to fight with the guy. He's wrestling you. You, oh, you like that. it. <laughs> like, I, oh. I was going to say, I'm, that's why I'm crossing my legs. <laughs> like, oh. i trying to stop the semi. Don't worry, we'll see it anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Get the anchor out. So, yeah, that one, I did loads of them as well. I didn't even do one. I did like, at least five of them. Wow. But they make you pee yourself. I was like, no, I don't want to do that. They make that. you piss yourself? Yeah, so, but they don't make you pee. They give you a little bag with your little squirt and your pee comes in the air. But I didn't do that. I was crossing the boundary. Wait, your pee comes in the air? Yeah, well, another girl was on set and she was doing it, but I was like, no, I don't want, I don't want to be dignified by death. I don't want to piss myself. I'll just right. get raped. That's yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Much more draw dignified. the line. Yeah. Um, I'll get raped and strangled, but I'm not weeing me pants. Well, sometimes <laughs> as well, you're already dead for half the scene. Like me and this guy did like fake overdose, like take this fake pill and then we were like next on and shagging then I died and he was obviously hard and he thought fuck it I'm going to keep going Yeah. but I died my eyes open because it's my first ever scene so I'm wow. laying there like this mouth open fuck. eyes open wow. I'd been like that for like 20 minutes it was hard and he, anyway it comes out and he jizzes all over me his spunk hits the roof of my mouth you can't react because they're getting the cum shot on your reaction so it's so hard not to blink or make a movement when someone just shot the load in the roof of your mouth yeah I could imagine yeah. <laughs> 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 Especially if you're just on the bus. <laughs> <laughs> Especially if you're out and about. <laughs> Here's a question for you. You don't have to answer this because it's quite personal. Um, but, you know. Um, so, doing all this porn, right? Yeah. It must desensitise you massively. Well, what it's done is we've gone, like, full circle. So, like, you become, like, you just guess normal civilian, uh -huh. non porner And then you get into really hardcore stuff because that's what you start doing. And then you like do all that stuff. So then that come, becomes boring. And then you start getting into like really softer things again, a bit more kissing, more foreplay, because you've just like, you know, the peaks and troughs of porn, I guess. Really? Yeah. Oh, mm. okay. I love a quickie. Really? Yeah. So now it's all just like, yeah. oh, I quite like that's quite sweet. Quite isn't sweet, it? isn't it? Freddie's perked up. Yeah, that's lovely. <laughs> that's my speciality. <laughs> and poached eggs. <laughs> and wrestling. I wrestled with a guy before, an older gentleman, like to pinch his nipples. What? For like, so I've done a couple of you like nipple twists. It, it like it like to be between my legs. And I'd be having him like that and just squeezing his nipples, wrestling him. Obviously, he's weak as <laughs> piss, so it's all right. And I did another one where they wanted to see all my fillings in my mouth. So that was the porno. I've changed them to white now. I was thinking, fuck that, doing that again. That's I had to insane. pretend to iron my clit. Iron, iron. Your clit. Yes, with an actual iron. It wasn't on, but you still feel weird. This was like for a guy. Actually, he's made some ropey comments recently. Um. 
And not then, from Somalia, was he? <laughs> he was called Bill. And, uh, and then I had to walk around with like a peg leg, one heel on, one off, and I'd like really exaggerate my peg. One eye jack, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's all one eye jack. <laughs> one eye jack's quite normal. That's insane. I know. I'm so glad that all of my kinks, as varied as they are, are all explainable. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Rather than I want you to iron your clit and walk with a limp. Do you know what <laughs> I mean? Yeah. Imagine broaching that. In the bedroom. Yeah. Like it's, it's like, do you want to do some quick clips? They're dead easy. I was like, all right, and go on. Fuck. Iron your clit. Hell. I was like, I don't know like, where this is going. Iron in the clit. I'm not is sure just... what the logic behind that is, though. Like, are you dead into act? Did you squirt first with the. That would have been a great. I think you should go into iron clits. Yeah, yeah. Be good at this. Iron squirts and she squirts. The iron squirt sounds like a Margaret Thatcher board. The Iron Lady. The lady's not for squirting. <laughs> Is that a minor? <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's great. That's fucking great. What else have I got to show you? Let's I've a got a, a little a story from something that happened. Remember a few weeks ago? <gasps> yes! The poo story! Yeah, so I, I bas- don't like this already, but here we go. Basically, go on, we asked our uh, fans to send in some stories about poo. And one Makes gentleman, sense. I think his name is Ryan Martin. Is that Ryan Martin, is that right? Ryan Martin or Martin Ryan? It was Ryan Martin, I think. L- L- anyway, yes. his name was Ryan Martin. He was on a fir- it, uh, at AOL.com. He was on a first date yeah. and he shit himself, right? And uh, I need the context, like on the, on on the, the restaurant. On the way in the street. He was he was walking with his lady friend. He shit himself. He went over to a bush, I think it was. Yeah, tried so- to pick it out, and it was all mushy. So he had it all of his hand. Did she know he'd shit himself? Yes. Yeah, he's also partially blind as well. He's also partially blind. He uh, this guy can't catch a break. <laughs> <laughs> he sort of tied himself up. Yeah. Rubbed the poo in his good eye. <laughs> yeah. Like ah. She still went home with him, uh, and she had to. He had to stand ten feet behind her because she was because he was so smelly. She must be desperate now. And he cleaned himself up. Shagged her that night, and we were like, wow, what an amazing story. So it turns out, Kimberly, Kimberly. <laughs> has emailed in. Oh. So with, with her side of the story. Right. Yeah. Which, to be fair, I know that they say that there's three sides to every poo story. Guy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, the subject of this email is poo guy. I think he used to play for Blackburn. <laughs> <laughs> That's such a niche reference. Yeah. <laughs> so stupid. <laughs> so stupid. If you got that reference, well done. Yeah, You're my kind of person. Hi, Dead Men Talk. It's Dead Men Talking, but oh, there we go. I am the girl who was with Ryan at that time. I don't know why I went back with him, crying laughing face. Hattie was right. I really did need sex. And he isn't big at all, to be honest. It was quite disappointing. Wow. That's Kim. Who went with Poo Guy. Poo Guy, I love the thing. Um, Kim, I'd never heard of the podcast before. Whoa. How did she find out then? Like, Someone sent it to her. Um, it must be quite a known story then that she's been with the, the blind shitting guy. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, she said, I have heard about your podcast, but I didn't think that Ryan would ever tell a podcast about it. Obviously, I'm still on his mind. I did laugh, though. I've subscribed to your pod now, so when you do another one, I'll make sure I watch it. I can't wait, to be honest. So we've made a, we've made a subscriber. Look at oh, that. right. So, so she Nice. Didn't, so she didn't get in touch to offer her side of the story. She just got in touch to let us all know that it happened. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Confirming. And that she really needed sex and he had a small I feel dick. like I want to eat him all. Yeah. Well, I, was, I feel but really... He, but he could have showered when he got to hers or his, I guess, so the shit would have gone by I, then. I, I, Unless, you know... I feel really sorry for this guy that he's already admitted that he's partially sighted and shat himself and now she's going, and he has a small dick. <laughs> yeah. It's like, give him a break. Do you know break. what it is, though? I think he's trying to get sympathy because he didn't even need to mention the partial sighting. It's nothing to do with the shit. Well, this well, is it was part know. of it. It was part of him explaining how he didn't clean it up very well because he's partially sighted. I think the main concern is he's he shit himself. Yeah. Also, his current girlfriend um, didn't know the story before the podcast went out and has now listened to it. So his current girlfriend knows about it now as well. She do you know, didn't know his do you know, I would either. recommend in the future just go home. Do you know yeah. what I'm going to do? And I know this isn't going to make real, really good podcast content, but I have to search for this woman on Instagram because I really want to know what she looks like. I've already searched. <laughs> 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 right, she's right. probably gorgeous. Okay, We're not going to say it. So she doesn't want a surname mentioned, but I, I obviously she's got quite a distinctive surname. Okay. Um, okay. Uh, I just, I just have to. I have to see what this woman looks like because I have to see whether she looks like what you. 
Oh, what? No, I was expecting to be Wait. honest. There was two, though. There was two people with her name, so I'm not sure which I one I think that should be... Uh, okay. Right. Um, I think so, that's fine. I mean, would you go on for good? If, I mean, you on a date, I shit myself and cleaned it up and slid it all over me. Would you go and take me home and fuck me? I think Freddie would actually. I'll, <laughs> You're like, I'll be, I'll be honest with mm, if you shit yourself on a date. Right. Okay. So, okay. So it's not an immediate no. So <laughs> not really so, out. So, I, and I'm only going off the fact that you've got such a nice personality. That's really. The, I mean, if you looked like you, but you were a bit of a cunt, I just, I'd say no straight away. Yeah. Well, uh, it's so, all about the connection with you. Anyway. So, so if yeah. you said to me, got a bit if, chemistry, if, chemistry and shit. If we were on a date and you said. I've, look, this is really embarrassed, but I've just shit my pants right now, but I really want to have sex with you. I'd weigh up... Oh, God. Uh, mm. Anal sex. Right. I've said anal. Okay. It's the only kink that gets me off anal. I've got to have anal sex yet and I've shit myself. Some, no, listen, no, some no, listeners no have just shower. come, by the way. Yeah. <laughs> I'm surprised they made it this far. Rewinding that bit. Can you, can, can you iron your clitoris, please? Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, 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 I might have shit myself, but my clitoris has got no creases in it whatsoever. Yeah. Smooth. It's, it's so Smooth beautifully glitz. ironed. Um, I... Oh, yeah, and then I get back and I say, can we get your iron out? Right, here's the question. How much... I use a steamer. How much have you shit yourself? <laughs> and... <laughs> I would say it's down the legs. It's down the legs. Cream dress. I want to go home, get the iron out. And, oh. and your, your water's off. The bill's for the roof. Is it my iron? The water's off. The yeah. water's oh. off. <laughs> this is getting worse and worse, this yeah. date. Do you know if what? There, if there's any signs from God, don't do this. You can use the iron, though, to pour the iron water over you. Ooh. Or it's a sign from God to say, you're going to really like this. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I would. <laughs> Give it a if try. If you've tried it, yeah. I, I, mean. I think I'd actually make a special stop at the sh corner shop and get two big bottles of Evian yeah. and yeah. just douse you in the yeah. back garden. Some but like an wax. exorcism. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. The power of Christ compels you. Funnily enough, when I've not had a douche before, I've had to use a squirty bottle of water with one of those, like, you know, like the LucasAid style lids. Yeah, under, like and LucasAid use that sport. as a douche. Well, you give yourself isotonics <laughs> in the bottle. <laughs> Well, Made it go 30% longer. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, improved your performance levels. You need to get yourself clean. You know what? I don't uh, usually shag with her. You know what, Sienna? The more we talk, the more I realise that you're my kind of woman. <laughs> <laughs> it was the heavier. Really are, you know. Um, okay, so we've 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 had a uh, we've had a message back from Kimberly. She's verified the poo story. Yeah, great. And given us her side, which is I've not had a shag in a while. <laughs> Oh, this is a story I found out about. Someone Imagine sent she in. just paid paid like a prostitute to go ahead of him. Just be like, go shag him. You shit himself. I don't fancy it. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's that was... Mate, that's a really nice thing to do because she's not obliged to pay a prostitute at that point. Why, she? the oh, she's not from? obliged? <laughs> no, she needs the prostitute, not him. Oh, yeah, she, yeah, yeah, She's yeah, horny, yeah, so yeah. she'd have to get a male one. Well, where do you yeah. go for, like, male prostitutes? I work. Because, because... Oh, do you? Yeah. Because I, so I was driving to Manchester the other day. Don't want to know why you couldn't find one for ages. <laughs> so sometimes when you're driving to Manchester, it takes you down one of the streets where loads of prostitutes are, like like loads, right? <laughs> Just happens. And I was, sometimes to <laughs> Freddie. <I don't laughs> yeah. That's why I was here, officer. Yeah. Ways. <laughs> yeah. Listen, listen. With the the way the traffic is around the uh, Echo or the MEN Arena, I'm as much of a victim as anyone. <laughs> And I'm just giving her a lift. <laughs> but they were all lined up. They all looked sad. And they all just looked really like cold you were there. and stuff. <laughs> <'Cause> I... <laughs> yeah. Was this recent? Yeah. They were all turning their backs to me like that. I felt like I'd been shunned in the Amish community. They were all just like... <laughs> Don't go with him. Tina did it. She never came back. <laughs> so, yeah, they call him Eater Sutcliffe. <laughs> <laughs> I'm doing my own fat jokes yeah. now. <laughs> what the fuck? Um, so, yeah, but I never saw any men. That's it. I've never seen any men at the street corners, like, you know, like in a little tight white T-shirt, like, you yeah. know. Hmm. Yeah, I don't, I, I've, I've never actually seen a street prostitute. Have you not? No, nah, I'm going to have a, what's the street called? I will, uh, Darby, I think. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Just try and remember it. He knows the postcode. Yeah. Manchester. <laughs> Uh, yeah, there's a famous one in Preston where I live called Fletcher Road, and that's literally where all the prostitutes go. What about in uh, where, where are we at again now? We're in Horwich. Is there any uh, prostitute street on here? They're all prostitutes here. Oh, yeah. Everyone <laughs> is a prostitute. Just Pronounced like shout out the river. <laughs> <laughs> Very good. Very good. We don't we don't miss Robert all, do we? <laughs> uh, what's this last one that you've got? Then we'll watch some. So videos. someone sent me this. It's an old story. 
Um, but it's the sex, the woman who had sex with the most people in one day. How many people do you reckon she had sex with? 500. How many people? In a day? <laughs> I read, I read I, 10 at a time. I'd seen the, uh, I can't remember her name. There was a uh, porn star that did that. She went for the record, didn't she? Yeah. Right, right. I think yeah, this yeah. is that story. It's okay. like a Guinness World okay, Record. Well, well, give me a sec, because I reckon we can work this out. Oh, okay. this so be she's got 24 hours, right? Yeah. 24 she's hours. She's got as, access to as much Lucas Aid douches as she possibly yeah. can. Right. I yeah. think the rule was she had to um, she had to have sex with someone for 45 seconds each person to for it to count. Oh, you okay. smashed oh. through Oh, them. wait. So she doesn't need for them to come. I don't think so. No. Right. It's not so, so about the go. men's jizz at this point. It's just for the record, <laughs> you know. It's about the men's jizz. One in, one out. Yeah, I, get, yeah I think you've like got, I think you got, it's like a, the hot dog eating championship. You've got to do it, you got to eat two at a time. Right, well, you could probably what, go for, then, you could go for 12 hours. And... Yeah. yeah. <laughs> how, many, how, many, how many minutes are in a, how many seconds are in, uh, uh, in six, an hour? 60 to the answer of all of these questions <laughs> is 60. Um, how many so seconds in a day? How many seconds in 12 hours? She can't go for 24 hours. That's insane. 86,000 seconds. So if we divide that by, that by 45. No, you can't divide that by 45. That would... No, this is the maximum. Okay. Okay. Yeah, but the max. 1,920 is the maximum. God, am I okay. even. Oh, my number so I reckon I would be amazed if it was 300. I'd okay. be amazed. I'm amazed. Well, you got to have the, the. She's a professional. The time. No, but 300. Yeah, because you've got to do yeah. 45 seconds and you've got to get out and in another one. Do blowjobs yeah. count or just. Funny. I, don't, I think it's sex. Just, sex. Funny, Low job's funny, not uh, sex, is it? Yeah, yeah. Oh, it's oral sex. Yeah. You can stick your dick in someone's. Obviously, I don't show. Yeah, and, just rape the mouth. Yeah, but, if, if it, if, yeah, but then hand jobs count as well, and then you're opening a couple. Then you can do five words, at a yeah. time, right? Okay, I'm gonna go over seven hundred and fifty now. Put my game. Seven fifty. Seven seven fifty would be insane. I was gonna say eight hundred. Eight hundred. Three hundred. Right, Gotta okay. be. But what, what what you you know the answer? I know something. the answer. Well, I know the ballpark. Um, <laughs> the ballpark. Oh, ball ball yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's where they hosted the event. <laughs> <laughs> Adult film star holds a record for sleeping with the most amount of men in a day. Uh, it's Lisa what? Sparks. She did it in 2004 during well, Eroticon. I might try and do that for me ten years. Whoa! Then. No, no, no. Nine hundred and nineteen. Nine hundred. You were nowhere near. Yeah, you couldn't men. get through. You, you'd be useless at this game. In I would be. I'd be, I'd be useless yeah. at having sex with nearly a thousand <laughs> men. <Yeah. laughs> Four. They wouldn't However, be able to get it up. <laughs> no, no. Over the course of seven and a half hours, not even over that's, the course that, of twenty-four. That's amazing timing. Does that even work out? She could have got more in. Hundred yeah. percent. Or is it like chess where they stop the clock as the cock comes out? Like, <laughs> yeah, I reckon. <laughs> like injury time. Yeah. <laughs> Bet she did have a lot of injury time. To be fair. Do you think for my decade thing in September then for the ten-year anniversary I'll do this? Mate, if you could yeah, play, get to nine hundred and twenty. Twenty-one. Ooh. Just beat it by a, a man. <laughs> That'd be the worst if you got beaten by one man. Oh, imagine if one man that let you. I've had enough coffee. Imagine if yeah. one man let you down on the day, and the maximum you could get is nine eighteen. Yeah. Lisa explained You'd have to how do the a book, you? Lisa explained how there were flutters present at the event, so that the men were ready to go when their time came up. She flutters. was reportedly competing mean, against they, two they, other women. They mean fluffers. Yeah, not I was flutters. gonna say. Yeah. 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 God, someone needs a proofread this. Yeah. Yeah. It was yeah. a yeah. Bible with a spelling <laughs> mistake. What? <laughs> it was a competition, and she bested her closest competitor by 21 men by the time the final whistle was blown. Oh, there was that... loads of them. So more than 900 men got blown that day. That makes it sound like it's the Middle Ages, though. Like, yeah. She yeah. bested her greatest <laughs> rival by 21 <laughs> men. She is the slaggiest maiden in all of the lands. <laughs> 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 Uh, 2002, they only got 646. Wow, she smashed that record. I know, absolutely. Um, so, yeah. Oh, hang on. Um, there's a bit more. Uh, speaking about her efforts on her website, Lisa has mixed feelings about it. She said the Polish <laughs> government French found still out... Feel anything. <laughs> she said the Polish government found out about the event just before it was due to take place and they threatened to arrest anyone involved. Look at the tag of a tits. What the fuck is... Th no, man. That's a pair of knockers, isn't it? That's that a is. pair of titties. Yeah. Holy sh... Doesn't even look like a pair of titties. It looks like she's trying to fucking... They're huge. That looks... Yeah, they look natural. Looks like we put like a... Pair of cushions up your yeah. top. Yeah. And... Just like she's trying to steal two footballs from Sports Direct. <laughs> <laughs> they had to move it to a super secret warehouse. I like how they say super secret warehouse. Super... This is my super secret warehouse. <laughs> Guys, it's a super secret warehouse. Lisa said she was so bored during the whole thing that she ordered McDonald's. <laughs> no, Freddy. Is, is it you Freddy can have a McDonald's if you do it. <laughs> <laughs> is it Freddy under a top? <laughs> I mean, what she ordered. <laughs> to be completely transparent with you all, this event is the one thing I regret doing in the 21 plus years in the porn industry to this day. 
This was the only job I agreed to perform strictly for the money. Don't get me wrong. I love gangbangs. And most, I've done most of them with you all, my fans. However, this event was never anything I planned on, and the entire event was because it'll be it'll have been so tiring, so poorly organised. Yeah. You know, if these things sound good in theory, but it, they're I mean, a lot harder. To do. Yeah, I mean, for me, not even in theory does this sound good. <laughs> yeah. Like, like I'm not like what? What's that? Fucking nine hundred and twenty men. Well, in theory, <laughs> don't sign see me up. Afterwards, that's going to be one of these men in September. Well, listen to <laughs> the, the last right, uh, sentence. It? You might like the last sentence. I had the best Italian food of my life, and it was in Poland of all places. <laughs> Here's a question for you. Italian, Here's, here's a question for you. How did they find a super secret warehouse with a thousand car parking spaces? <laughs> <laughs> Some of them carpooled. <laughs> carpooled. There's a lot of dads and lads there. <laughs> Dilf Dungeon strikes again. I just, I just love the idea that a guy's trying to get his dick sucked but he can't find anywhere to park. He put a bus on. <laughs> Bear in mind, they had the fluffers as well. Fluffers as well. Fluffers as well. Yeah, yeah. There's, there's, that would have been a 1,500 people event. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fluffers, well, They probably just used like an drivers. Amazon warehouse. That's like fucking Amazon mad. Prime. Yeah. 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 That's fucking mental. Jesus. Should we watch some videos? Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah. Uh, right, let's watch some vids. Let's watch some so what videos. we do now... Oh, micro penis. Size doesn't matter. That's a lie. That is a lie. <laughs> so what we do now, uh, Sienna, is we watch some videos that our fans have sent us in. And you can send these videos well, to... Well, not the same videos I get sent off my phones. <laughs> <laughs> well, the, 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 you can send them to 07520 WhatsApp only. I am not responding to any more fucking reels that you send me on Instagram. I have to live a normal life, please, for the love of God. Just what's happened? What sort of stuff do you get sent? Penis galore. Like that woman, 920 penises a day. Really? Yeah, yeah. that's oh, no. it, really. So, so, these, so these tend to be, we ask for the grossest videos that you have on your phone. No animals, no death, no kids, no racism, unless you can get one with all four, in which case I just want to see that video. <laughs> so, yeah. I think I get the grossest videos on some of the phones. <laughs> well, well, well. Um, I'm going to show you some ropey ass videos after this. I can't because. Oh, please. Air. No, no, no. By all means, because we get sent some fucking horrific stuff. I mean, even if you have a look around on the wall behind you, Sienna, you'll see some of our favourites. Um, but we've had this before in the past. Which guest did we have? Hattie Preston, where she was like, "Oh my god!" Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, so uh, um, we had Hattie Preston, and she was like, "Oh well, you know, I have seen a fair few spot popping videos," <laughs> <laughs> and we were like, "Oh really, Hattie? Here's some maggots in a vagina." You know, that's dirty. Why would you do that? This one up here reminds me when I fisted a guy over latex glove and he shit all over my arm. Oh, oh, oh man! So, is there anything that gets you? Is there anything that makes you go like that? Yeah, the shit. But you know what? I don't like guys spitting in my face no more either. No more. No more. No more. I think I've just had me limit. Since COVID. <laughs> Since COVID. <laughs> Since long COVID hit. Because <laughs> okay. you're just always like this. It, the spit goes cold on your face after a while and you're like... Oh, man. And they proper goes on you. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Look, if you don't spit, just dribble it. It's like, yeah. If you're gonna spit, make it saliva. Don't go. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. The cackle, no the sound, and the cold spit in your eye. And yeah. men have so much fucking spit. Yeah, yeah. I'm like a camel. <laughs> <laughs> so I don't mind it still I mean I wouldn't say no but uh, okay, I, I don't beg for it anyway the three most recent ones they're, they're not that wild we'll go into the hall of filth in a little bit though yeah. um, basically the whatsapp thing broke okay um, should we want to watch Krispy Kreme let's first let's watch Krispy Kreme this is a fucking weird old one this so one. let's have a look at this one here I've got I've had some oh I've got oh shit so this is a guy who is he looks like a Royal Mail postman doesn't he yeah yeah. he's, he's, he's shagging a donut he's shagging a donut <laughs> in this if, is if, if he wants to strike. be on my OnlyFans in that outfit with that donut I will have him really I will have him but he has to wear the outfit oh he's not going to eat it he's not going to eat it don't eat the donut don't eat the donut don't eat the donut god that dirty bastard don't I, eat the donut <laughs> oh, I hadn't seen the end of that do you know what though I, I do want to try What I do find it horny when men want to snowball uh, what do like you? they come in my mouth and we snog Oh, no. <laughs> the hand. Do you know what? I thought we were doing so well with each other. <laughs> I would honestly... Oh, mate, I'd feel like a baby bird. Do you know the guys... <laughs> you know the guys who say they want to do that? I think you'd be good at you'd it. You'd be the one they throw out the, throw out the nest. The problem is nah. the guys that want to do that right, they're, they're thinking about it and they're proper horny for it, but they back out sometimes after the spunk because I think it's a fantasy, but sometimes it's too late. You've already dribbled and they're like this. Oh, oh God. Yeah, 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 yeah. Because sometimes, look, when you've got that fucking... The, the, the horn. Honestly, I don't know if girls get post-nut clarity in the same way that guys do, but, like, when you're fucking in that moment, you are like, God, that, I would 
ah, ah. And then you come and you're like, oh, God, what have I done? Yeah, no, girls yeah. get this as well. Yeah. Really? Do you get it straight away? Though? Is it... But do you know, with women, t- certain times of the month, you get hornier. When you're at that patch where like you must just want to get pregnant by biology, I-, I think you would fuck anything. Really? Yeah, I get so horny to the most random people and start like wanking over them. And afterwards, I'm like, ugh. And uh, what time of the month is this? <laughs> <laughs> what date are we on? <laughs> For the three weeks. <laughs> Might have to teach myself to snowball. <laughs> um, I don't think you can teach yourself. Get the <laughs> you are. I don't think you teach yourself. You need a woman. Well, you, can, yeah. you can, but it'd be grotesque. You'd have, to, it? you'd have to come in a, a cup or something or fleshlight, and then you could also come in the girl and lick it out. Yeah, you could do. I used to know a guy that coming used... in a flashlight and shot in it would be disgusting. Yeah, I used to know yeah. a guy that used on to your own. used yeah, to like yeah. a guy to jizz in you, and he would be laid underneath you while your doggy on him, and the guy would spunk in you, and he would be there to mop up the mess. He wasn't gay or anything. He was a perfectly shrill gentleman. He just liked licking up other men's cum. I mean, that's pretty gay. Uh, that's pretty gay. That's, <laughs> on that's, the spectrum that's, of gay. That is that is almost the gayest thing you can do. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's, it's the second gayest thing <laughs> that you can do. I think the first gayest thing is to be fucked up the ass by another man. That's the gayest. It all. It also bring you a cheese hamper with a power pack in. <laughs> <laughs> to the occasion. A cheese hamper is the third game. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it goes, me fucked up the arse, licking up another man's cum and a cheese hamper. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And he's doing two of the three, but he's not gay. He's a perfectly straight gentleman. Yeah. Right, next one. Right, we'll watch first class. This is another sexy one. You could just melt anyway, some anyway, brie like and pretend it was I'm going to give him a nine out of ten. I liked nicer. him. Don't, don't first dick. class. Yeah, so someone's just in a train. They're walking along. What are they going to see when they oh, walk let's have in a the train? Oh, <laughs> It's someone getting sucked off on a train, baby. Now, okay. Now, I know. Just pause it. Just you know pause what? it. Like, now, he and her wanted to be caught. I yeah. don't know. I if you keep on watching, I think she thought he was keeping a lookout. No, but the thing is, is it, his it, it pants... It controls her so far down. His out. pants yeah, yeah. are around his ankles. If he didn't want to be caught, his dick would be out and his pants yeah, would be Yeah, but he'd be to the side like yeah, that, yeah, like yeah, a little yeah, mouthful. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. Oh, so he was right Sienna, next to that we're door. On the same we're, level, we're, girl. A bit of that and a bit of snowballing with her. Yeah, snowballing first class. Um, okay, so let's watch her after. He has a decent set of balls on it, like. He's pretending he's. She he does not. Know he can't. It's like, look how far down they are for so long. That, look how long oh. it's taken him. Yeah, yeah. Wait a minute, just pause it. This could be in that, so, Germany. That I rash think. on his it looks ass German, it looks it? German. It looks German. Cargo so, pants, I find them horny. Like I have workmen's. to say that one time, Mersey Rail fined me for putting my feet on the seat. <laughs> <laughs> Do you get? His feet aren't on the seat. Yeah. <laughs> as long as you've not come on the fabric, we're not fining you. Um, you don't even let your dogs on the seat sometimes. Well, this is it. They, they fucking fine. But they are in first class, so there must be different rules. Let's have a look. But his bare, his bare cheeks are on it. He needs he to take his pants that up. low. He looks dead. Like he the looks way really he's trying pissed. to put it away, he's yeah. like... I think, that's fake. I, think he's, I think he's a faker. I think he's on OnlyFans. Uh, and then the last one, and before we go into the Hall of Filth, is Granny Goes Shopping. Oh, no, Granny. She's up to the escalator with a little trolley. She's at the top. And she, yeah, I mean, she, I imagine that she's going to fall down and... She's going to get flinged by that trolley. Whoa! Oh! Yeah. Straight down. Why is that yeah. on someone's phone? I hope that's not the wank pack. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Right, let's watch the whole of filth because there's some absolute fucking stuff in here. Mm. So, do you know what I would say is... These corns actually remind me of Rebecca, your pal, when I see these little corn slash up. She, She's got a corn dildo. She, well, she brought it in. Yeah. Would you me, like to me see... Me and you should come on the couch together. <laughs> yeah, we'll get yeah. you both on. Have Everybody a competition. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Bring your best tools. <laughs> Bring the iron in. Bring the iron versus corn. <laughs> um, let's. I think watch. we go with this. What's that, right? It's Megan Soldiers. Let's watch oh, Megan Soldiers. I feel ill already. Yeah, you're going to like Megan Soldiers. Uh. Okay, yeah, turn the sound down for this because the sound's one of the most irritating things about it. Oh, you go in, Sienna. Ooh. Look, that is a smeggy dick. Oh my God, I feel Smeggy ill. Dick. I can't even look at that. Well, just you wait, just you wait, because she's uh, gonna, she's going to clean that up with her tongue, Sienna Day. She looks really uh, like she does not want to do that. No, she does, doesn't she? Like, is there any other way of getting? I the have visa? licked a girl out of a yeast <laughs> infection, and it's not nice. Bro, I'm well. luckily we're in a pool, so I kept kind of splashing her. <laughs> Didn't fucking do a thing. There was yeah. three of us, thank God. Good oh. job you're not gluten free. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> I, I swear, oh my oh, look, look how much she is not thing. about that life. Oh my god. Oh. It's not great, is it? Not leaving oh, anyone a great really. tone. Oh, it's Smeggy. So Smeggy. Oh. Do you need the bucket? Do you need the bucket? We've got a sick bucket over there if you do. I need think it. I'm gonna need it. This is ill. Yeah, this is ill. I've been sick on a guy's cock before when I've had a Red Bull, but I have to swallow it because you can't just spew on someone's dick. If, but if, if this was me and the Smegan soldier, yeah. I'd be spewing. He deserves to be sick to him. If, if you ever are, oh, wow, you're going to go, aren't you? Yeah. Have you been sick? <laughs> no. Okay, okay. <laughs> oh, wrong studio. <laughs> I was going to say, we're not... Right, I'm done with this guy. Get him off. Yeah, He's too filth. Get him off. Get him off. Who found that one? Who's oh, responsible that? for that? We got that sentence. Oh, send a Perverse Family. It's oh, been a while since we've This had... sounds a bit better. So Perverse Family is one that we found on Twitter. And this is uh, basically a, a family, and I'm going to use that in inverted commas because I don't think they're actually related. I think they all just share a common goal. Um, and What's they... The goal? The, uh, fans. Um, but this is basically... It looks a like cl- the Adams Family, if anything. Mate, the, didn't hear. I think you'll appreciate the production values if you don't appreciate uh, exactly what sort of porn it is they're doing. Look, wait, just the first shot. I've never noticed this before. Have Thank you God. not? Yeah. That's, the these only, guys... that's the only thing I focus on. That and the need for a roofer. Oh, yeah, they do need a roofer. Yeah. And a complete refurb, renovation. Mm. Oh, you might want your headphones on for this one. Yeah, you'll need God, your headphones on. Oh, Jesus Christ. Back to the front headphones again. Well, I'll turn it down a bit if you just... Is that a cock in the corner? Uh, yes, yeah. I'm, I'm looking more at the gaping arsehole myself. Got an eye for the cock. It's a large arsehole, that. Is that the dad? Did, That's did Ivan, Charlie. the servant. And then this is a Oh, my God, he's like the one off um, Charlie and Chocolate Factory. <laughs> you want some more? Yeah, do you? What the fuck is got? Oh my god! <laughs> so, oh, <laughs> leg in her. Oh my god. Ah, oh, prolapse is doing. Ah. The worst one is coming in a minute where you see a head up, a f- up an arc. <laughs> oh my god! Oh my god! What is this? This is a perverse family. Oh look, there's a head right <laughs> Very shooter, a lot of them. Can we look Fucking at put them Can we look down. at head in ours again? Look, that's a head. That's a head in a bubble. How? <laughs> Whose head? Hers. Head and shoulders. Will you give me some head? <laughs> They're gonna be confused. The worst thing is after that they have to. She's snowball. got no eyes. <laughs> yeah. It's a bit much, isn't it? It's. Where do you draw bit. the line with it? Where do you I mean, draw the line? I think at the very beginning. Yeah, <laughs> I think yeah, that's yeah. where the line is drawn. <laughs> the before the camera starts. That's gonna be line. special effects. I'm. I'm gripping my fanny and ass, thinking, please don't ever get a head up there. This is it, mate. This is it. I what the stab so, under this so, so the next time, the next time you're moaning about there being a bit too much water and it taking too long, because <laughs> yeah. I mean, they've got to get the lighting right, just think you can have a head up an ass. Yeah. Yeah. Would you rather have a head up your ass or your looks... head in an ass? <laughs> I'd yeah. rather be the. I'd, I'd, no, I'd be. I'd get the head up mine. 100%. Would you? I'm not putting my head up where so I shit. Well, this is it. Yeah, I'd be yeah. the same. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I'd actually rather be. And I've got than... extensions that have cost a fortune. <laughs> I've been washing them for weeks. You're fine. You're bald. <laughs> yeah, you're right. That would be that would be my biggest annoyance. Yeah. I, I have a beard. <laughs> the beard. Imagine that. It'd just be like. Yeah, you oh, can shave your beard. You'd be aerodynamic like a swimmer. It. Oh, win at mustache. Oh God. Yeah, oh. you'd be aerodynamic like a don't... swimmer. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like this family. You no. need to stick to red tube. Get this off. Um. Should we do one more before we the go? The dad looked a bit like, uh, what's his name, uh, Liam Neeson at the start. It was Charles. him. Was it? Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is what I've taken for. <laughs> I have a lot of special skills. <laughs> I can put my head up someone's ass. Do, do people like this then? What's the point? Is this, what is this? <coughs> someone must be. <laughs> some, 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 some weirdo will like uh, it. But... Should we close with Maggoty Fanny? Oh, no, nah, I can't watch that. I'm not, I can't do that. Not Maggot Fanny. Uh, maggot Fanny or Maggots? <laughs> Yeah, yeah, th- those are your two choices. <laughs> I'll put it on then. Yeah, okay. I've already got a glimpse. Out co- I've got to do a nah, side eye. I hate muggets so much. Reminds me of a couple of X's. Oh, oh my holy shit. <laughs> Why are you glued to the screen? That's the real question. You're glued. Oh my God, it's every angle. The fingers of these videos. Well, I'm a fisherman by trade. <laughs> <laughs> Who? 
Lock these cunts up. Lock them up. Yeah, yeah, I'm more yeah, offended yeah. than this than the child slap. <laughs> <laughs> God. Right. I do not do these requests on my OnlyFans. Please do not DM me, maggot fanny. Well, that's the end. Family. It's the end of the podcast now, but you very much earned the right to uh, to plug stuff, Sienna Day, because you've been an amazing guest. Thank you. What can you plug? What can't Ooh. you plug? I oh, know. <laughs> <laughs> Let's get something. It's a new here. show. Can't plug, won't plug. <laughs> Um, fuck, what the fuck is everything? Hold on. Hold the fuck on. Uh, so, uh, OnlyFans. A day in Siena. A day in Siena. Instagram. Yeah. Another day in Siena. <laughs> Another day in Siena. <laughs> Twitter, a third yeah. day. Yeah. A long Siena. weekend in Siena. Right, <laughs> long weekend in Siena. A day in Siena again. Instagram was, but they kicked me off, so I'd do another day. Yeah. Oh, no. yeah. I bet people Google I you, got, they'll find you, right? I got kicked off um, Twitter too because I had my arsehole in my head up behind a phong by accident. Then I, I doxed a guy's number. I didn't realise that was a thing at the time. Deserved it, I'd do it again. And then I also had arsehole out again. Really? Yeah, in the thong, though. Like, isn't that prejudice? It is. It's not my fault the arsehole peers out. I... Peers? <laughs> you can't have an arsehole yeah. in, uh, on Twitter. Not in your header. You, fucking loads you, of cannot, you, can, you can, but, but you not can. in your header picture, yeah. Oh, right. So, okay. yeah. Have you ever been to Siena? Nah, I'd like to. It's absolutely Sienna beautiful. Sienna does Sienna. It's beautiful. There's your 10-year anniversary. There you yeah. go, Sienna. Yeah. In Sienna. 900 men in Sienna in Sienna. Well, yeah. actually, they have um, uh, a thing in Sienna twice a year called uh, Il Palio, which is a uh, horse... They have a one right, town I'm square. Right, I've got to stop you there. Yeah, we've gone full circle. We've gone boring again now. <laughs> I was just about to teach people about the culture of the fantastic medieval village of Siena in Tuscany. But I don't know. Fine. I can't relate that to porn, though. All I heard was horses. I thought, no, nah, can't go down that route. Well, no, what they do is they... So, basically, Siena is divided into loads of different districts and neighbourhoods. And twice a year, they have one single horse race round the town centre. It takes 15 seconds, right? But what I'm thinking is, for the other two times of the year... Maybe each person could nominate a man from the village. Yes, and, you and could... they could have 15 seconds in me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And then yeah. you could, like, vote for the winner. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Ten-year anniversary. Cock riding in Siena and Siena. Thank you. Perfect. Like it. Are you yeah. for it? And then you make them all snowball at the end. Oh, oh. my God, don't we? It's Bukaki with the lick up. <laughs> Imagine being the first one, though. You've got to wait for 900 <laughs> other people to go. <laughs> mm. This is another carbonara sauce. <laughs> no maggots or schmeg shoulders invited. Oh, right. Phil Chapman, thank you for coming on. What do you want to plug? Uh, watch me on uh, Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, uh, at I am Phil Chapman. Yeah. Red Tube, yeah. <laughs> Leave loads of comments. Um, Join my Fortnite team. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> and uh, also sign up to the Patreon, patreon.com forward slash Dead Men Talk Pod. From three quid a month, you get an extra episode and you get access to shitloads more content and specials. And for all your merchandise. I hope and... you don't get this content on that folder. <laughs> oh, you get worse. The Patreon's <laughs> even worse. Uh, and for all your merchandise and for tour ticket sales, uh, just head over to deadmentalkpod.com and you can get that all there. Thank you for listening. Go fuck yourselves. Yeah.